Howdy my noble friends Sir Kaka Babu is back with World of Tanks and this time we are going to watch two games in the tier 6 British tank destroyer the AT8 we are on the cliff map in this game I am with my mate up to no good he is driving his T50-2 and he is going towards that lighthouse over there but we are not concerned about him what we are concerned about is ourselves we are going to press w and charge into the enemy ranks as they haven't been charged into before well as you can see we are top tier so as a top tier 88 driver i am moving towards the enemy ranks and right off the bat enemy vk2801 has been killed and the t3485 has been killed as well i mean even before we have reached here a lot of carnage of the enemy team has been created it has been uh, unreal now we've got this amd 70 178b in front of us and we are continuously moving against him the problem we have is that the 178B can flank around us and it is really nimble. However, what we need to do is move against a corner so that this 178B cannot flank us or if he is flanking us, he cannot just circle around us well he thought the better and moved away over there we spotted the su-100 i am moving against the 178b and 178 is oh well server reticle must be on him 178 just ran away from me and my concern is this t3485m which doesn't realize that I am over here. I put a round into him. I, I, I track him. He bounces on me. I keep on going for the tracking shot. I know that 178B is over there behind me. But I am not concerned about him. I want to finish off this tier 6 medium tank. Which is really deadly. Now we can turn our attention towards the AT8. If you notice the theme, our team is losing badly. We are three tanks down and seven hit points down as well. And the recurring theme right now has been to not get any support from our team. The Skoda T25 is, seems to be AFK at the moment and I am making full use of my full rate of fire, fantastic rate of fire and we finished off the Skoda and now we have turned our attention towards the VK3001P. He is getting hit by our own Skoda T25 and Nason over there. Let's see if we can finish him off. Come on VK, you are going down, fire and he goes down. Now, all I wanted to do was to finish off this AMD 178B, but I got stuck in these corpses of tanks which were in front of me. Thankfully, finally, Basoto kills the 178B. We now for the first time switch to gold rounds and we finish off the behemoth tank destroyer the oi cromwell b flanked around me came behind me put two rounds into me and rt opened up on me as well to doing 235 damage i mean enemies are all over the place now this amx 12t appears puts a round into me uh, a lucky round into me I might add. Uh, RT fires another round onto me. Now I am stunned as well. So now I decide to retreat so that I can get into some kind of artillery cover. 
I am backing up in order to get safe from the RT. I call for help so that these useless dudes over there that Basoto and AMD who were camping in the corner provide some support and this Cromwell will he appears I put one round into him he's go moving around the building I put another round and finish off the Cromwell B but we get no respite AMX 12T comes around we put a round he damages our gun and he we luckily bounce another round shot from him AMD almost flipped himself because he is panicking we repair our gun we put a round into him and fire and we finish off the AMX 12T as well and just like that we are on six kills we have gotten 3600 damage and now I was hoping that the Basoto friendly would come with me but he decided to move into this direction if you guys look at the minimap he is moving over there being totally useless to me so that uh, that is just not good enemy Basoto appears in front of me I put a round into him but sadly even though he is tracked he is behind the rock this is unfortunate ladies and gentlemen we are on 37 hit points and enemy Basoto another one appears in above me and he bounces around down to me I am turning towards him at the moment he puts around into my weak point on the roof now my gun elevation is not adequate enough to go against him and this is where I make a mistake I should not have fought against him and moved away from him because he could shoot me and all he needed was to put one round into my roof and he did and we got killed ladies and gentlemen this is I'm going to speed it up because this Basoto is going to faff his rounds and just display how truly pathetic he was and all he needed to do was take a shot and put a round into the enemy Basoto and then go after the other one and he unfortunately died now this RT is well what can you expect from an RT he tried his level best it is the team which just let us down unfortunately ladies and gentlemen 88 did all it could but its story has not finished yet we are going to jump right in to another game and see what we can do over there so on to the next one alrighty then partners we are again on the cliff map and I if you well I have let my team know that I am going to approach the enemy from the one two line and asked for their help as well we again are top tier it is a repeat of the same game which we witnessed as far as the map and matchup is concerned let's see what we can do friendly fv304 was totally helpful he tried to push me towards the enemy help me out he is also situated in a way in order to help us out now we spot the kv1sa in front of him our, our in front of ourselves rather we put two rounds into it we are not stopping we are moving on swiftly but we are receiving fire from the stug 3g at uh, at the back as well and we finish off the kv1 sa stug 3g is continuously firing at us and right off the bat we have secured 576 damage and damage blocked by armor if you guys check in at the bottom is 840 now we are hitting this t3485 m in front of us and the m10 rbfm they are firing 
एच ई राउंड दैट मी आर टेलरीज आर ओपन अप ऑन मी एफ वी थ्री और फोर एंड एम ट्वेल्व वी आर कंटिन्यूसली ट्राइंग टू डू डैमेज टू डैम वी रिपेयर आवर ट्रैक्स सेवनटीन हंड्रेड डैमेज हैज बीन ब्लॉक्ड एंड वी आर नॉट स्टॉपिंग वी आर ए फोर्स टू बी रेकन विद एंड वी आर जस्ट मेकिंग यूज ऑफ आवर आर्मर एवरी द एनिमी इज थ्रोइंग एवरी थिंग एंड द किचन सिंक एंड आस एंड वी आर नाउ दिस टाइम मूव इज थ्री थर्टी फोर एटी फाइव एम एंड वी एम ओर एक्ट द हेल आउट ऑफ एम नाउ दिस डास्टली स्टेप थ्री जी हैज बीन स्पॉटेड एंड वी आर नाउ ट्रैक्ट अनफॉर्चुनेटली आवर गन इज स्टक अगेंस्ट द एनिमीज and we are continuously being hit by the fv304 over there from the left side as well finally we repair our tracks and kill the stug 3g we are five kills up 2700 and hit uh, 80 2800 rather hit points lead and this one to line has been cleared only the artillery remains then i spot the kv1 on my left and i decide to finish him off quickly we are going to fire 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 and oh come on rt don't you have anything else to do su85 fired a round on to us as well he fired another round damaged was blocked thankfully we was firing from a range so he couldn't hit the weak spot on our top so or uh, the major threat at the moment is from the artillery which can do fantastic damage to us p43 base over there has also been spotted and i am looking towards that perhaps i'll be able to put a round into him or not my own legendary fv304 indicates to me that he is moving in to support me it is quite refreshing to see an artillery playing so aggressively what a legend look at him go over there i was trying to aim for the t3485 fv304 is not stopping moving in he stops shotguns the m44 artillery and i finish him off we are on five kills at the moment and we have all but rolled up the enemies look at all these shots which have hit our vehicle ladies and gentlemen it has been glorious now the swedish tier 6 tank destroyer has been spotted but before we could hit him our round he was killed unfortunately now only four enemy vehicles remain su85 is over there and would we be able to put a round into them or not well we would just have to wait valiant over there is spotted even though i can just sit here and not do anything my job is not done yet and i write in the chat fv3 of 4 is such a legend and he reciprocates fv uh, su85 sorry moves up and uh, just long enough for me to put a round into uh, him and secure my top gun now against me are the strv and valiant over there and the artillery fv304 in our chat indicates to me that the artillery is in f7 so i am moving against them thing lo things look favorable at the moment but they can change really easily because we are in a crossfire valiant over there is spotted i was moving forward in order to spot the other vehicle strv as well i am putting round after round into the valiant in order to kill him now all of the enemies have opened up on me as well fv304 is hitting me from the back i fire into the strv put a round into him he goes behind a building and 
Churchill 3 might be able to finish him off. We fire, but we were faster than the Churchill 3 and we finish off the STRV 74, securing our seventh kill. Now, all we need is the last kill, and we need to kill the RT in order to secure the Radley Walters medal. RT gets spotted in front of us. We put one round into it, and artillery is moving on the left side and the PT P Panzer T25 finishes off the FV304 denying us the Radley Walters medal and it would have been the icing on the cake had we secured that last kill as well now let's check out the post game stats of both these epic games and see what carnage we created into the enemy ranks ladies and gentlemen so on to the post game stats so in the first game we secured mastery badge a stanker got these insignificant secondary medals as well we secured top gun and high caliber look at all the damage we did all to so many vehicles it is just a crying shame that we lost the first game my noble friends i mean had we gotten a little bit of support from anyone we would have been able to take them out but i must admit that in the end it was my mistake which got me killed i should have moved away and not tried to force my engagement with the basoto and perhaps i would have been alive long enough to kill him but whatever i tried tried again so i think i did all right for our 4005 damage 6 kills we got 1103 base experience and of course those medals and our mate up to no good in the t50-2 did 738 damage one kill and skoda t25 did 1490 damage as well all the other ones were just so useless artillery who fired perhaps one round and just so little amount of damage unfortunate that game was we fired 32 rounds direct hits were 30 penetrations were 30 so the marksmanship was totally on point and check this out damage blocked by armor was 1580 so we blocked a lot however we didn't block enough in a tech 3 vehicle we got so many bonuses and we made a profit of 125,800 and we made 125,000 credits profit as well so fantastic 2929 experience was secure so fantastic result for the 88 and this next game was just glorious of course master by tanker a whole plethora of secondary medals we got top gun steel wall high caliber and if the enemy as i said before throws everything they have including the kitchen sink then you get the cool headed medal all the damage we did i mean so many vehicles were damaged by us whatever came in front of us got demolished thoroughly we did 3039 damage with seven kills and 1555 base experience ladies and gentlemen we were at the front doing all the talking with our fantastic gun and we made the enemies pay for spawning in my battle and not to mention this t 3485 m did well as well and this legend over here fv304 driver was fantastic as well we fired 31 rounds direct hits were 26 and penetration were 22 so marksmanship was not on point as much but we were spraying and praying as well because with this gun you have to just keep on firing and uh, let the enemies know that you are here damage blocked by armor check this out 3540 damage was blocked by armor we received 52 hits 44 of whom were non-penetration so uh, let's just say that our armor worked 
the enemy players didn't know what to do against us while we were charging against them. We secured 44,000 credits profit though not bad and a lot of experience was gained as well 5833. So all in all a mega uber game for the 88. So there you have it partners two mega games in the 88 and i hope these games would have highlighted to you if you land in a correct matchup then the 88 can really work and the only condition is that you put its armor to good use go in the front as aggressively as possible and take the fight to the enemy team do not play as a traditional tank destroyer because it is not a traditional tank destroyer it would be a disservice to your team if you are hanging in the back in this vehicle so take out your 88 enjoy it it's a fantastic vehicle in the mid tiers and i hope you enjoyed this video as well if you did please consider giving it a like down below and also subscribing to the channel it helps me out and i hope to see you guys in my next videos ladies and gentlemen so until next time goodbye my noble friends